been here, Tom. Oh. <laughs> Good morning, Northwest. I'm Jaden, and welcome to Titan Connect. Please stand for the pledge. Put your left hand down by your side and your right hand over your heart and say it with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the dress code check. What is that? Mickey dog? It's like a like Mickey well, Mouse no. ears on? I can't tell. It's like a bear. A Mickey bear? Yeah, not Mickey. Okay. I just didn't know what it was. You may be seated. And now for today's announcement. Um, okay. There will be a Battle of the Books meeting tomorrow at 8.15 a.m. in the Media Center. And 8th grade basketball cheerleading trials will be held after school next week, Wednesday, January 19th through Friday, January 21st from 4 to 5.30 in the multi-purpose room in the 6th grade building. A sign-up sheet will be posted on Mrs. Len's door for those who are planning to try out. Yay! And now for Mr. Henson. Good morning, Titan family. I have a few things for you before I give you our Wednesday words of wisdom. Uh, first, we, the county spelling bee will be this evening. And remember from last week, Jonathan Deese will be representing us. So we want to say, go, Jonathan. Represent Woo! Northwest well. All right. Also, you notice I'm wearing my mask. Our anchor was wearing our mask today. So today is the first day that our county has gone back to mandatory mask in the classroom and in the school. So remember, you have that nose covered, you have that mouth covered, and it comes down to your chin. Uh, you can only have it off when you're actively eating or drinking. All right, now with no further ado, our Wednesday words of wisdom. Now, for those of you with a sweet tooth, today is National Glazed Donut Day. This is a day that celebrates that always delicious glazed donut. Now, here's a few facts you may not know about donuts. The word donut actually comes from the Dutch origin of the word olikok or oily cake. Also, there are two major types and common types of donuts. The flattened sphere, which are the ones that are typically filled with jelly or cream, and then the traditional ring donut, which we all know. Now, believe it or not, internationally, Dunkin' Donuts has over 1,700 locations in 29 countries and over 6,000 stores in 30 countries worldwide. In the U.S., there are over 4,400 locations in 36 different states. Now, also, many of you love Krispy Kreme. Yeah. Now, just remember the Hot Donuts Now sign. So, maybe you're by Concord Mills area today. Look for that Hot Donuts Now sign. Now, the last fun fact, believe it or not, Americans consume, now let, hold on, listen, 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 10 billion donuts a year. That's a lot of donuts. So, enjoy your favorite donut today. Now, a little more serious note today is National Pharmacist Day. Now, this honors pharmacists and recognize their important role in medical care. They have to be knowledgeable of the chemistry of all those different medicines that they dispense. They have to be able to inform you of the drug side effects and all the aspects of that prescription medicine as well. And they also must understand the interaction of different medicines if you take those. So, if you know someone who's a pharmacist or you happen to be by the drugstore today, say thanks to that pharmacist for all they do. Also, January is Poverty Awareness Month. Many Americans of all ages are struggling to receive adequate nutrition. However, poverty isn't only a concern for lack of food. Health, housing, education, safety, and justice 
are all forms of poverty that in fact impact people's lives. Now there was a 2020 U.S. Census Bureau study that said that 11.4 percent of people were living in poverty. So during the month of January, just think about this. How can you help people living in poverty and make things better? Now, believe it or not, our quote of the week is actually in honor of Glazed Donut Day. Now, think about a donut. You got a circle, you got a hole in the middle. The quote is, the optimist sees the donut. The pessimist sees the hole. So as we go through our lives, life is what we make it in our perception. If we have a positive view of things, things are gonna go pretty well for you and you're gonna be pretty happy. If you have that pessimistic view, you're gonna be miserable all the time. So make the right choice and choose positivity. Now as we close for today, Titan family, just remember, be respectful, be responsible, and be safe. Make it a great day and make great choices. The option is yours.